My name is Brian, and I'm a NASCAR fan. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You know, they say the hardest part is admitting that you're a fan. Now that I've got that off my chest, I'd like to explain why NASCAR is like an iceberg. To most people, NASCAR is just cars turning left in circles, and I understand that. But for me, I know there's so much more beneath the surface when it comes to NASCAR. And this is something that I learned the very first race that I went to seven years ago. Since then, I've been to 25 races in five different states. I got to meet my favorite driver, and I even went to the grand opening of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. That first race, though, I was just like you. I was thinking, oh, great. I'm going to see a bunch of mullets. I'm see a bunch of rednecks. Everybody just turns left. It's going to be boring. My sister and I played a game called Spot the Mullet. At the end of the day, we could count on one hand how many mullets we saw. Pretty disappointing. There is some good people watching, though. I'm not exactly sure how effective camouflage is when you're not wearing a shirt. And I'm still trying to figure out what this is, although we weren't the only ones that day to spot this unicorn. I think one of the most important things to keep in mind when watching a NASCAR race is these people are pushing those cars to the limit every single lap. What I mean by that is there's a fine line between going as fast as you can and completely spinning out of control. And they do this lap after lap for several hundred laps. Another thing to keep in mind, the tracks are actually different. As you can see, the blue deuce here is making a right-hand turn. It's not all lefts. There are a couple tracks where you can make left and right-hand turns. And then, of course, Ricky Bobby and Talladega. Another thing to keep in mind, the drivers are very different. Joey Logano is the youngest driver to win a NASCAR race at 19 years old. Harry Gant, the oldest at 52. That's a difference of 33 years. Are NASCAR drivers athletes? Of course they are. If you think marathon runners are athletes, you have to think that NASCAR drivers are athletes. For three to five hours, they have a running heart rate of 132 to 142 beats per minute. Not too much just about the drivers, though. It is a team sport. These guys hop over the, the pit wall, change four tires, fill it full of gas, and make any adjustments in 12 to 14 seconds. These small changes have a huge impact on the racetrack. This guy's making what's called a wedge adjustment. They say that the NFL and football is a game of inches. I say NASCAR is a game of millimeters. The smallest change in the shock in the rear can have a huge impact at the end of the day. Another great thing about NASCAR, if the rules suck, they change them. This guy, Jim Joyce, he called a runner safe and prevented this pitcher, Galarraga, from being the 21st ever to pitch a perfect game. The race experience is unbelievable. Entire cities spring up in the desert. They build a Bash's supermarket out at Phoenix PIR to service all these people. This is where I first learned how to play butt darts. I'll teach you that later. Another good reason is NASCAR races are safe. There aren't any shootouts. Nobody burns the city down when somebody wins a championship. There aren't any stupid rivalries. Watching, watching at home is exciting as well, thanks to all these different cameras. At any given race, there can be up to four cameras in a car. And one of the coolest ones is the gyro cam. It shows you exactly how much banking there is on some of these racetracks. And there has to be those, that banking. Otherwise, you get some wrecks. And secretly, we all enjoy a good wreck, right? The reason NASCAR, you can enjoy the wrecks even more is because you know how safe the cars are. I've got an example. My favorite driver, Carl Edwards, was going to win the race at Talladega. On the very last lap, he was about to get past. He went for a block and ended up sliding up in the air, going to the catch fence, landing, and then catching on fire. What did he do after that? He finished the damn race. He ran across the finish line. That's just one reason that Carl Edwards is my favorite driver. And that's the final great thing about NASCAR that I'll leave with you. You can pick your favorite driver however you want to. It's not like most sports where you're tied to whatever your city you were from or whatever city you reside in currently. If you live in LA, you have to root for the Lakers. If you live in New York, you have to root for the Yankees. I have a friend who picked a favorite driver because of the paint scheme of the car. So here's what I want you to do. Go to a race. We get two races here every year. Go to the November race. Get scanners so you know what's going on, and hit me up. I'm going to be camping, drinking beer, and playing butt darts like an American. <laughs>